Oh my goodness, she's back again with that same Portland instrumental. Anyway, so the first exercise is standing crunches with twists. And yeah, you kind of have to lift your arms in the air, twist and crunch at the same time. I'm not sure if you can see how my stomach is tensing as I'm doing it, but yeah. Also, the Portland Instrumental is the only one where I don't get copyrighted, okay? Don't judge me. Anyway, the next exercise is, well, I forgot the actual name for it, but you can see what I'm doing. So basically, you have to lower the opposite leg and arm to each other, so diagonally. And yeah, that's it. Trust me, this is one of those ones that looks way easier than it is. And it's really supposed to work your core. See, you can see me stopping and taking a break in between. Like the lazy person I am. No, I'm kidding. It, it, it was actually kind of difficult. Especially since I've never tried this one with dumbbells. <laughs> some of these I have done and are regular ones that I do. And some of these are not exercises that I normally do. So, yeah, I ain't going to say which one's which though. Go watch my old videos. <laughs> okay, and the next exercise is boats or hundreds. Now, I think it's it's a boat. Wait, it was supposed to be hundreds, but I, yeah. You know what? It works. That's the point. It works, okay? You'll feel it. And now we have ins and outs, which are very, very similar looking exercise. Damn, I said very kind of weirdly. But yes, you know, hold the dumbbell up, go in and out. Wow, I have kind of big biceps, you know. Ooh, I never noticed that. And now we have sit-ups. I don't think I need to explain a sit-up to anyone. You should know how to do this. You know what? I hope the audio is actually coming out clearly because I really, really don't want to have to do another take of this. But now this voiceover thing is kind of fun. Go, Cece, go! Go until the fat that's hanging over your stomach isn't hanging over. That's really annoying because when I stand up, it's like you, you, you can see the definition in the first exercise, right? Now, this is one of my favorite dumbbell ab exercises it's something that i normally refer to as the diagonal crunch so you have to like lift your opposite arm and leg up to each other but you have to crunch at the same time yeah all of these exercises are kind of similar you could do them all or you could space them out or i don't know the slightly varying moves will kind of keep you from getting bored if you decided to do like well all of them <laughs> but no videos like this are just designed for you to take a few of the exercises okay and now we have side bends plus crunches see so again wait yeah I had to drop it because it felt like I wasn't actually doing the exercise properly sometimes lower your pride and sacrifice the weight so that you can do the exercise correctly and of course if I don't know the actual name for the lying down one I don't know the name for this one but this one's more difficult mostly because of the position you're in and the fact that I kept hitting the couch or trying not to hit the couch basically yeah And ultimately, we have the inverted sit-up where, yeah, it's kind of like doing a leg raise, but only your hand, your arms are like above you. Uh, in this case, mine are holding onto the dumbbell just to keep me from like moving, which, well, makes it more difficult. Well, actually, that's how you're supposed to perform it. If you don't do it like that, you're probably not doing it right. And now we have a standing side crunch where again, you crunch down as you go well down each side like you, you you can see what I'm doing you do that but you have to crunch as you feel your as you feel your body creasing yeah and that's it that is the end these are all the exercises please subscribe to me bye